Were Jedi's terrible military leaders? Yes, almost, almost certainly. certainly. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, I'm sorry, yeah. guys. I'm sorry. There's not really anything else you no. can really say on that. They were just genuinely bad, you know. But I think this thread brought up a lot of points that I've never really thought about before, you know. And yeah. it really made me think. And I thought, you know what? I haven't done a K-thread in, like, forever. So let's do it, you know? Let's get into this. Probably wrong board, but yeah. During their first battle at Geonosis, they lost the vast majority of their Jedi generals and used their precious clones, including commandos, in Zerg rush tactics. As a result, the Republic was severely crippled through the war. The commando units were severely crippled as those present on Geonosis were decimated. Clone commandos are meant to operate with a squad whom they've trained with since birth. Due to the high death rate, this was impossible for the next three years of the war. I mean, like, the Zerg rush was really cool at the time, though. Yeah. Like, you like, know, you like, what, what, what age was I What age was I when Recruiting Works came out? I think I would have been uh, 2003. That would be about eight. I was about uh, eight years old. No, about nine. Would I have been about, yeah, something like that. We were like ten in, no, in the, 2004. Yeah, but, so, yeah. yeah, something about, about that. About nine, eight or nine. Yeah, either way, either way, I thought that was, like, the coolest thing ever, and seeing all them Jedi on screen. Yeah, but, but when you actually think about Geonosis, it's like, I mean, that was a really bad idea. No, it was a shit show. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it was. <laughs> but it was so cool, though, yeah. at the time. But, like, really, when you actually put it into context, it's like, um, um, that was just horrible. Whenever you think about it, whenever you're older, it's like, mm. uh, <laughs> Yes. If it weren't for the fact every other military force they fought was brain dead, they would have gotten wiped out. Like, come on here. Them beam on battle toys were... Okay, okay. I'm just going to put it out here and say it. Gungans are African tier army. <laughs> I'm sorry. They're absolute African tier. They're using thrown projectiles oh, in space. So now, don't get me wrong. The shield was cool. The shield was cool. But, like, if you're was still it, using no. thrown weapon, like, and, like, like, okay, I get a Jedi are still using, like, you know, melee weapons and stuff, but at least they can deflect and they got, like, With their fucking mind at least shit. They got the, at least they got, like, you know, the force to, like, yeah. get them going, but, like, come on here. They got, like, you know, the battle droids getting defeated by gun guns is just, like, come no. on. Did they really yeah, but the B1 chance? battle droids were shit as well, <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. Roger, Roger. <laughs> they were fun, though. I, I did like them. If they had any intelligence, Jedi would be centralised under a special operations like authority, which would deploy them as battlefield assets at the request of actual generals and military commanders. Don't get themselves killed at the front. Yeah, honestly. Like, what was all that? Like, I, I get that the force is going to protect you, but, like, mm, oh. wh- who is that one? There's a, there's a, is it Commissar Kane? Is it? I can't remember. There's like one from like 40k and he says, yeah, the Emperor protects and all, but like, uh, a good bolter will do you better. You know, I, I think that, that, that logic definitely does apply to this. Like, yeah, the Force will protect you, but... But mm, not that far. Yeah. <laughs> Either that or the Jedi agrees to actually take the role of a commander and not go running out into the field to do backflips <laughs> and deflect shots. But yes. Like, but like, oh. look, it was cool. Don't tell me it wasn't cold. No, it was it was fucking cold to watch it yeah, on screen. But like, like the whole thought of it, it's like, why are you doing that in the middle of a fucking battle? Yeah, this is it was just jumping, shoot. It's like Legolas and like Lord of the Rings. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, the same sort of logic going on there. Yeah, well said. Just yeah. cool for the sake of being cool. Yeah, well, like you got to go with the goal of cold. Yeah. <laughs> that was mostly because those Jedi were peacetime Jedi's with minimal training in war or combat. The Mandalorian conflict of the Old Republics and the following Jedi Civil War view Jedis as masterful generals, even by Mandalorian standards. Yeah, but that was thousands of years thousands before. Thousands of years before. I, I, I think it's 2000. Correct me if I'm wrong, I haven't been like, leading into Star Wars um, extended universe I just, stuff I in a long time. I couldn't tell you how long, but I just know it was fucking ages yeah. before. Did charge, the Force will protect you. <laughs> Trust me, guys. I Trust got me, this. just do it, the Force Dude, will come. Like, we got this, we got this, okay? <laughs> Yes, horribly so. And the clones knew it. In the first battle of Genosis, they basically did World War One charge tactics and all got fucking ganked. However, as the war progressed, some <laughs> keep going. <laughs> some Jedi were able to refine their skills and become somewhat competent at their leadership roles. Yeah, that- Ob- Obi Wan was pretty good. Obi Wan, yeah. I think, is the only one that stands out to me. That being said, the Jedi Order in the Clone Wars was a skeleton of what they once were as they had spent centuries in peacetime jerking themselves off. That's, a, that's possibly the nicest way to describe yeah. what, they, what they were actually yeah. doing. Look up the old Sith Wars and you'll find that Jedi were far more cunning and willing to use their greater powers of Jedi <laughs> future prediction and battle meditation to go ham on their enemies. 
new Star Wars garbage, Knights of the Old Republic for, for life. life. <laughs> yeah, that's what for I'm life. Called. Yeah, yeah, I, I can't help but, but agree with, for the most part, the sentiment there. Yeah. Um, the the Jedi at the time of the at the time period we're talking about, like during the Clone Wars, really were a shell of their former selves, to put it nicely. Yeah. And um, they'd really just let themselves like got. Gotten would be gotten for the core would they be. They didn't a, have anything to, you know. Um, they're peacekeepers in a world, yeah. and and the and the place seems to be getting on well enough. Yeah, they don't. They're not so really they didn't needed. Need to hone in their skills. They yeah, didn't need to do all that. They just because there was nothing to prepare for. <laughs> and also because there was that many of them as well. Like mm-hmm. you know the Jedi. Time, like okay, and I know it's. I know in universe there's actually very few of them, mm-hmm. but whenever you're looking at them, the the Jedi Order is gigantic at that point, yeah. and it's big and it's bloated. And mm-hmm. to be honest with you, there's very few actual like genuinely like strong, powerful Jedi. Yeah, Borgay, she's my favorite, guys. <laughs> oh God, oh. get away from me! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys, I couldn't help. I couldn't help. I had to. Oh, uh, like I, I'm not. I, we're not allowed to talk we're about the new movies. We're just not getting into that. No. Would a cult of shaman monk warriors, mainly concerned with judicial peacekeeping, spook missions, and diplomacy, be good battlefield commanders? That fuck was a no. fucking tongue twister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck no, I got to be no. serious. I, they were really thrust into it, though. Yeah. It, they weren't prepared. Like, no, they weren't prepared really, in they, the fucking slightest. They, they were really like, okay, this is your job, get going. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Shook me intense five. <laughs> Scooby yeah, Dago. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Fuck no. Jedi should have been nowhere near a major battle. They should have all been doing spook shit behind enemy lines with commandos and ARCs. Yeah, no, honestly, like, you know, who better? Like, honestly, could you have a better group of people to be doing, like, infiltration tactics? No, fuck. Like, you know, they, like, they got the Jedi mind mm-hmm. tricks. They're very quiet, you know. I think they're ideal. Yeah. Like, realistically, like, well, okay, I'm saying realistically. I'm pressing on my Star Wars. Like, just ignore me now, actually. Anything that I say now is fucking invalid. I can't believe it. Just that word came out. Keep going, Megan. Either that, or only in the upper echelons of headquarters, and not near the battlefield. Exactly. That's where the ship be. Yeah. It was Papa Pumpy's plan to use them. Honestly, it was a great idea. Oh, I, I, I honestly, that's one of the things why Palpatine is such... I'm going to get the to me, Papa Palpy. Pop, Papa Palpy. <laughs> I, I have to use that word from now on. Plan to use them. He would know they would be shit leaders and cause further divide between the clones and the public. Honestly, it, it, is there such is there any better villain than Palpatine though? No, he's such a good. He's just. He's, he's such a good. I, I, you know the actor that played him. You can tell was just having so much fun. So much fun. Like he, he you can really his see it. Kids be like, <laughs> 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 like he was really into it. Like he did love what he was doing. Yeah. You know, and I really, like it's almost it's it's not quite campy, but it almost has a campy feel to it. <laughs> you know. Hey guys, we just want to take a second to say thank you to all you guys that come back and enjoy our videos with us. It really does mean a lot and lets us do what we do. As you guys know, doing what we do is always an uphill battle on YouTube, as YouTube would like to throw the parts of the internet we enjoy under the bus. You guys know all about the YouTube algorithm at this point and the best way to help us do what we do is by clicking subscribe and clicking the notification bell to stay up to speed with any and all new videos as well as sharing videos of ours with friends you think would also enjoy what we do here. Also, don't forget to check out our social media links below. We love doing what we do, and it's all thanks to you guys. And for that, we thank you so, so, so much. Now, let's get back to the video. I dreamt of Malachor. I remember the ships. The last stand of the Republic. The tattered remnants of our fleet. The largest we could gather. But it was damaged, weakened, and vulnerable. The Mandalorians couldn't resist. They tore into us like beasts, shredding our ships to scraps as we fought back. Yet this time, there were no reinforcements for either side. Revan had been delayed out system by Mandalorian scout ships. By the time he arrived, it was too late. And beyond Malachor, there were no more Mandalorians left to die. I remember standing on the bridge with you and watching the destruction of the Republic, watching ships full of soldiers and Jedi burn and die. I remember the look you had when you turned to me. It was the longest you'd ever looked at me. You didn't say anything, just a nod. Events moved quickly then, even in my dreams. Flashes, explosions, you, falling. I could feel the pain around me, and then the memory. The drifting hulks of the Mandalorian ships. The dead, allies, friends, strangers. And then the echo, lingering. The sound I awakened to in my nightmare. Hell exists, and it lives on that ruin of a planet. 
Oh, sweet. See, that, see, it's stuff like this. For this, I this, is what, have this, this is what annoys me, me. Is that they just wipe that shit out when oh. Disney bought over? Like, no. like, why do they not make me? Why do they not make movies about the older like canon universe? I know. Like, seriously, they could have done. You're on the verge of greatness. <laughs> like, seriously, like, come on, guys. Like, okay, like, I'm gonna put it out here. I did enjoy the one, and I enjoyed I the really, Mandal- yeah. and, and I'm really enjoying the Mandalorian yeah. so far. I, I really enjoyed Rogue One like, um, Rogue yeah, all One the other stuff is very good pretty much trash. Solo I didn't mind uh, it was okay but I think it's because it was more of a standalone I, yeah. I didn't really bother I with I didn't it. care much Rogue One was but, cool um, and The Mandalorian was cool I am so into The Mandalorian the I love Man- it yeah so I I, I'm, I'm happy that it's the way I wanted Star Wars I, to be I, 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 I see whenever I heard that like you know Disney was buying over um, Star Wars I was kind of disappointed but at the same time I thought well does this mean we get new Star Wars stuff? Because I'm I'm okay with that. Yeah. But I didn't really. You don't really. Know. It's like asking a genie a wish, isn't it? I know. And then, then my oh. asshole, fall, my fucking heart falls out of my asshole after yeah. the fucking first movie. <laughs> oh, I like guys. Enjoy what you can. You know, it's one of those ones. I don't like. Let's keep going with the thread. Yeah. I'm not in the mood to just woe and self pity over my love of Star Wars just being <laughs> fucking stomped on. The plural of Jedi is Jedi, and yes. Very few of them were actually skilled or even competent military leaders. They were basically like meter maids for larger scale issues. They were inspirational and good in a fight in their own, but the majority never should have been put in command positions, especially actually on the field leading troops. The best Jedi should have been special forces and strategic level advisors, only with the others being told to keep their dicks out of the war. Yeah, uh, so I, uh, that's... Uh, in a nutshell, yeah. Yeah, pretty much that sums it up for me pretty perfectly. Yeah. Um, genuinely, these people are just not meant for it. Like they're really not. No, they're it's not. not what they've been trained to do the whole lives. And even then, like you know, really s- small unit special forces combat would they would probably excel at that? I think. Yeah, I think that would. would. I think that's what they would be really particularly good at. There are so many different Jedi across many different wars that it's impossible to give a single answer. Clone Wars. Impossible to judge competence in a game that is one hundred percent rigged from the start even accounting for the shit show that Genosis was. Every subsequent victory and loss is tainted by the fact that Pulps was running both sides. Galactic Civil War plus Imperial Civil War. Luke and Leia were genuinely good at their jobs in the EU. Corrin Horn was a competent enough leader. Kayan Farlander doesn't get much coverage but seemed to acquit himself well enough after the X-Wing Flight Sims event. Most of the other Jedi during this period weren't in leadership positions due to either inexperience or isolation. New Sith Wars. Half the Jedi were terrible. The other half under Lord Hoth were good at it. Old Republic era. Revan was competent until he wasn't. The Exiles seemed to have an okay track record. Everyone else during the Mandalorian Wars was not so great. As for the other wars, the Sith tended to get their shit pushed in hard. So the Jedi probably did alright then. Yeah, that's a nice sum up. Yeah, that's a, uh, I'll be honest with you. I, 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 I kind of yeah, I find it hard to argue with anything. Yeah, I, I don't up really. I can't really. I don't really know what to say. <laughs> yeah, I feel like yeah, that's a yeah. good. That's a that's a pretty <laughs> sum up. Uh, I just want to take a wee second just to say like you know I'm really sad with like you know new Star Wars. Oh, overall. I don't want to talk about new Star Wars. It gives like, me a headache. I know. Like the problem is for me, I feel like like Star Wars is something that I want to love. You know, it was one of the first like it's really. It's not even that you want to love. I like we do love Star Wars. Yeah, it's and just they keep a lot of people out there love off. Star Wars. Can you just stop pissing on for five uh, minutes? Please. Can you stop making it bad? You know what I mean? Like, do you really have to do this to me? I know. You know, but at least there is some good hope. Like, you know, the new Mandalorian is actually decent. Yeah, I'm really enjoying I really it. Really enjoy it. I'm having a lot of fun with it, and I did really enjoy Rogue One. Um, all the other new stuff is kind of meh. Um, I best i uh, don't really want to look i'm not in the mood to just start pissing all over it because so many other people have this done would be so much fu- better i know, I know. and um, this will be a full video on. onto itself us pissing over the fucking new star wars so it's yeah okay. but i want to enjoy star wars that's kind of what i feel like about yeah. it almost and it's just sad yeah at this point you know and, I'm, and i feel like that's the same way for most people yeah like the, and most people that i talk to about star wars they're kind of like, uh you know they're almost like where are they with it or they've just feel like they've just been They've just got the heads kicked, kicked in, in it. so many times. times. It's like, oh, like, you know, just drained. And- now, don't get me wrong. After I watched 
a Force Awakens. I was like, Force Awakens. Oh, I enjoyed it. For- I, I was like, mm, I, it, it was very heavily based on A New Hope. And I, I was know. like, mm, and they were playing like, it super fa- super safe. I can safe. understand I why get- they played it super safe. I can get it because apparently we're all a bunch of cunts. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I get, so, I get it. And for the most part, like, I don't think it was a bad movie. I think they just played it almost too safe. Yeah. But, like, but I liked it. I enjoyed it. It was a fun movie, but then the second one came, and that's just uh, fucking talking about that. And then the third one, they did try to like. It yeah, took, it just, just fucking took the chair off the pre- Let's try and pretend that the other one didn't happen, and then it's like, oh, like it just—it's a fucking mess, guys. It's just a fucking absolute mess. fucking. Uh, mess. Let us know your thoughts on new Star Wars down below, because like. Or just don't. Or just actually, yeah, be <laughs> honest don't. with you. We understand. We get it. We get it. <laughs> like, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, I wanted to do something on K because, you know, I haven't done anything on K in a while and it's something a bit different, you know. Yeah. And also, as I say, I've been really enjoying the new Mandalorian. So, yeah, yeah I kind of, I saw it. I was like, well. <laughs> <laughs> and there was some points in it that I'd never really thought about before, looking at it from a commando point of, point of view, view you know yeah. but like let us know what you think about this one because it is something a wee bit different and if you enjoy it we might do more boards more board stuff, stuff. So. there's always something fun on K yeah. you know there is always something fun so like let us know what you think down below and we'll see you next time bye <laughs>